it's time to take on the gym leader, and this time through, it's not as... I don't know, I don't think it's really as difficult as it was before in Diamond and Pearl to get through. First, you're going to want to slash those down. Uh, probably next up, you're going to want to take out all of this. And come over here, slash that down, slash that down. Let's see, I think we're almost done, really. Come over here, come this way, slash that down. Uh, I misstepped, kind of, I think. Yeah, come over this way. And then you can take out this string, and then once that string's taken out, you can you're set to go. So it, it, I don't know if it's really as difficult as it was in Diamond Pro or not. It's just kind of a different layout of snowballs, really. Anyways, zip your way down as usual. He'll save, do all that good stuff. Yes, I do want to challenge Candace. Creepy. Okay, cool Candace is ready for action. Oh yeah. Starting off with a Sneasel. It's an Ice Dark type, level 40 with the moves Slash, Aerial Ice, Feint Attack, and Ice Shard. Uh, Steel types will do good. Fire types will do good. Fire types will annihilate. In fact, I probably should have started off with a Toxic Rug because it has revenge. A fighting type move will just devastate this thing. It's like times four super ultimate effective. Uh, she uses her hyper potions like all gym leaders do. You know, the usual hill and jazz. Uh, for the most part, though, Sneasel is just a good start off. Fully offensive, there's like no statistics involved in this thing. A good defensive Pokemon can do good, like Skarmory, something that can take a good physical attack. Not that difficult, really. Uh, she really did revamp her team, though, from Diamond Pearl. It's a lot different than before. Hello, Swine! I haven't seen these things in ages. Second generation. Ah, uh, Pillow Swan is level 40 Ice Ground type with the moves Avalanche, Stone Edge, Earthquake, and Hail. Again, except for Hail, it's a very offensive Pokemon. Candace really likes having an offensive team. She doesn't really bother with stuff like stat raising and such, but. A good water type move does good on that because of the ground. If you're like looking to spread your team around, there's lots of weaknesses that Candace has, and you can see a lot of them. A bomb of snow was once her main Pokemon, not anymore. Um, it's a level 42 grass ice type with the moves Avalanche, Wood Hammer, Water Pulse, and Focus Blast. Again, like Sneasel, Sneasel was devastated by fire type moves. This thing uses, or Sneasel was devastated by fighting moves, but if you use a fire type move on a bomb of snow, annihilation. Only thing that's irritating is its ability automatically starts up a hailstorm as soon as the battle starts. Ooh, that was a nice little bonus. A little flinch in there. I would have thought for a KO, but since I didn't get the KO, I'll take the flinch. Four stores. Apparently she's a little bit stronger <laughs> when it comes to items instead of those hyper potions. Almost. Just can't take it down. That should do it. Last up on her roster is the big, bad, new Pokemon. 
We did not see it in Diamond and Pearl. And it is a new evolution of Snow Run. It's Frostlass, level 44, Ice Ghost type, with the moves Blizzard, Double Team, Shadow Ball, and Psychic. It's actually a very neat Pokemon, in my opinion. It was the uh, boss in Mystery Dungeon 2 in the After Game. I know I never covered After Game, but... Yeah, you break the ice. You have to be very careful because of Double Team. That is going to be your downfall in this battle because it is her strongest Pokemon. It is her most annoying Pokemon. And when you have to go up against something like that, it is just irritating. I threw out the Frog of Evil. I knew it wouldn't live long. I just threw him out there to just kind of take a whack and maybe whittle away some hit points. Uh, for the most part, let's see. I'm going to throw Majora's Fan out there to the Leech Seed it, just in case Double Team gets annoying. It's good to have something like that. Now, that's assuming I live this Blizzard attack, because I'm four times weak and I'm underleveled. Yeah, just dropped two Pokemon very quickly. <laughs> Okay, if you want to play the offensive game, I'll play your game too. Okay, time to burn this thing to death. Ugh, now it's going to start using double team. Couldn't you have used that last turn? Frostlass is a very fast Pokemon too, and that's also annoying. Oh, I do have Faint Attack though on Helm Doom. I don't need it, though. <laughs> that works! Okay, that's all she wrote. Aside from Frost Last, though, it shouldn't be an overly difficult battle. Okay, yes, I know I've earned your respect. She's gonna give you the Icicle Badge, which now lets you use HM08 Rock Climb Outside Battle, and she's also gonna give you the TM72. And that contains Avalanche, and it always goes last, but the power is doubled if the user is hit before it attacks. We Okay, we are out of here. Woohoo!